Hey, how you doing? Paul Tobias for TobiasMusic.com. I'm here with Nathan Weathers, the general manager of Third Coast Guitar Repair, uh, Taylor Guitars Gold Level Service in Chicago. We're located in suburban Chicago, Downers Grove, Illinois. Uh, longtime Taylor dealer. We've been with the company over 30 years now. Uh, Mark Seal, very close friend of our store, been out many times. Appreciate you having us today. It's gonna be awesome. It's always great to see these guys, man. Thanks Tobias Music is awesome. Yeah. So check it out. So this year, we've got some great things to show you guys. I'm going to show you three things today. We're going to talk about our new Academy series. We're going to talk about our GS Mini Bass and our 800 series. But really, this year would not be possible without the last three years for us. And what that means is that over the last three years, as you know, we've redesigned virtually every series of our guitars. And in the process, we've come up with some manufacturing capabilities we did not have in the past. And we're doing things much more efficiently, which really kind of broke ground for this instrument, which we're going to talk about. This is our new Academy series. And with the Academy series, you know, Taylor has always been about helping people play guitar. We wanted to create more and more guitar players because quite frankly, is the world not a better place with more guitar players? Not a doubt. All right? And we really believe that. And so we, we sat around and we said, well, let's make this guitar that is going to give somebody that's starting out maybe for the first time a real opportunity to succeed. And so Andy and the design team kind of started talking about, throwing the notes out. What's that gonna look like? What does that sound like? Basically they said, we need something that has great playability. We need something that has, is durable, it's durability, and something that is affordable or affordability. So playability, durability, affordability. And when they went to take care of those things, they addressed the playability issue first. We wanted a full-size guitar. We basically wanted to give a new student everything that they need in a guitar to succeed and nothing that they don't. So no frills, no you know, bells and whistles on it, just all the stuff that's gonna make the guitar stay in tune, sound good, play great. And so what they did, they started by creating a thinner nut up here. So we have the nut width of 11116. What that means is the strings are a little bit closer together. We also have a shorter string length, which is also known as the scale of the instrument, which creates a little more flexibility in the strings. Again, easier to press down. We have a, uh, a shallower string height, or also known as the action of the guitar, so the strings are closer to the fretboard. Again, pressing down easy, and then light strings. So all those things make your left hand very comfortable to be able to press and fret out notes and get them to, to work correctly. This right here is what blows everybody's mind. Isn't that cool? That's beautiful. So this is called an armrest, and what an armrest does is it lets your arm be really comfortable here so you can play for extended periods of time when you're practicing, but it's just a, a comfort thing, but it also keeps your arm off the top of the guitar. Now traditionally our armrests, we put them on our premier guitars because it's very hard to do. It's very labor intensive, takes a lot of time because you have to go around the binding and it's gotta be done after the guitar is finished. Whereas here, because we have no binding on this instrument, this is something we were able to automate. And again, we wanted to put the most comfortable guitar in a new player's hands, that's who needs it. And so this armrest is an added feature that's really, really cool. And so with the Academy Series, we offer them in three, really three different iterations. We've got electronics available on all three. The one that I'm holding is called an A10. The Academy is for A, the 10 is our dreadnought body numbers, you know. So this is more singer-songwriter, gonna bang it out on here, this is the guitar to do it, it's from Loud. We also have an A12, which is our grand concert, it's our smallest body shape. And that's great for finger style, it's still a full-size guitar, but a little bit, a little bit smaller, a little more comfortable to play. And then we did a, an A12 grand concert nylon strings, that's an A12N. And on that one, what we did that's neat is we took the neck and we joined it at the 12th fret instead of the 14th fret. 12th fret nylon. 12th fret nylon, right. Awesome. And that takes our left hand, brings it closer to our body, makes the guitar significantly easier to play. And so it's really giving virtually everybody a chance to be very successful when they first pick up a guitar. And that's something that's really important to us, obviously. Well, it's almost like you guys designed it for our store in particular. You know we have a great lessons program there, about 150 guitar students a week, 11 great teachers. Um, a guitar like this, obviously a little more affordable, but it opens the door to Taylor Guitars at an earlier age. That's right. So a, a store like us, again, with a, a sizable lessons program, a, again, perfect fit for us. Yeah, I, I think you'd be very hard pressed to find a better starting guitar. Oh, sure. And I think what you're gonna find also is that person who comes into your store that's willing to spend three or $400 on an entry level guitar, all of a sudden now you can show them, well look, you know, some of those less expensive guitars are gonna have high action. They're big, they're bulky, they don't stay in tune very well, they don't play well. You don't have that gratifying experience. You can say, well, you know, for a couple hundred dollars, you can get a guitar that's very durable, it's gonna last a long time. A lifetime warranty, and yeah, having this on the headstock, Taylor, means a lot to just about every guitar player. And out of the box, though, too. You know, so many times people will come in, they bought a guitar for, you know, a friend or family member, and it's hard to play. It's an entry level, and so you 
you're putting me out of business by having a ready to plug and play Spoken guitar. Spoken from a true repair <laughs> right, guy. Right, right well, that, that is our job. But that is, that is great, though. <laughs> the, the narrower neck and the shorter scale length, oh, that's great stuff. It's perfect for uh, a beginner player. Awesome. Well, this is the new Academy Series from Taylor Guitars. So what I've got here is the GS Mini Bass. And this thing's killer, you guys. This was something that we felt it was very important to finally include the bass players. They're often left out, as we Thank know. Thank you for that. So, Nate being a bass player. Exactly. Think about this. How many times have you gone to a campfire with a bass? Never. Exactly. <laughs> now you can. So, no, we wanted to create a bass. You know, basses are big and they often require amplification, hard to get around. So you guys miss out on a lot. If you're sitting by a campfire, you don't get to play, now you can. Take it backstage when you're doing a rehearsal. If you're doing a rehearsal backstage, there's always a guitar player and there's always a million people that want to sing. The bass player is often left to standing in the back of the room playing air bass. Again, not really enjoying the experience or even a couch bass, something to sit and write and practice on. But second to that, how many people do we all know now that have guitars and have home recording studios and they want to record? So now guitar players can take the GS Mini Bass and they can record their bass parts on an instrument that feels very comfortable to them. We built it on our GS Mini chassis, so it's, again, a comfortable guitar size, and uh, it just sounds and plays fantastic. I was talking to Andy last week, and he kind of explained to me some of the, the challenges in making this instrument. We overcame some really cool ones. The first off was the, uh, the strings. Coming up with the strings on a shorter scale instrument, we had to deal with what kind of materials are we going to be using, you know, how, what's the weight of the string. There was a lot of things that went into it. So we partnered with Diodario, and they came up with a string that surprisingly, I didn't, didn't know they could do this. It's a nylon core string with a bronze wrap, and then the EXP coating. So they'll last forever, they're light, and they're insulated really well for this instrument. And the nylon doesn't affect the pickup at all because you have the bronze wrap around it. Exactly. Right. Yeah, nice Very work. Good. So that was, that was one of the big problems solved. The other problem solved is how do you take a big bass string and put it on here without having a big clunky bridge? So what Andy did, and this is genius, he came up with these bridge pins. It's called a dual-pronged bridge pin. Easy for me to say. And uh, what it does is there's these two little fingers where you put the string down and it goes around the string. And that forces the string further to the back of the guitar because on a traditional bridge pin, that string has to be more at a 90 degree angle. We needed a lesser angle because of the thickness of the bass strings and to keep the vibration and, and the, the energy going. So that pushed the string back, which you can see that break angle significantly less. Brilliant. And then on top of that, it really is. And then on top of that, when you tighten the string, it pulls the pins apart so it locks the bridge pin in place at the exact amount of tension it needs to stay in place. So when you go to restring it, you simply loosen the strings, bridge pin comes right out, put it in, lock it, and it locks the bridge pin in place. It's unbelievable, so much so that we actually got a patent on it. So only Taylor Guitars would put that much research and development into bridge pins. Right. Into yeah. bridge pins. Awesome. Yeah, and it looks cool too. It doesn't look sure. it doesn't look out of place. You know, some of the bigger ideas could have looked much more, you know, bulky. Lastly, when you have tuning pegs on a bass, you need bigger posts, right? So usually with bigger posts, they're accompanied by bigger winders, and that doesn't look right, it makes the guitar heavy. So we, we partnered with one of our tuning manufacturers, came up with a bigger post, and then on the back, we made them smaller so machines. The standard so standard size buttons. Balanced. Right, so it's very balanced, so very comfortable. It does come with electronics, it's called ESB, and the electronics are, gives us the ability to not only amplify the instrument, but also it's got a tuner built in, so it's really ready to play. And, and one of the cool stories, last, last week when I was at, um, having the meetings for this show, I was talking to Andy Powers about it, and he says, you know, Mark, that instrument might be the single best instrument for somebody to pick up and play a stringed instrument for the first time ever, yeah. because first off, it, it reduces a song to the root of each chord, so you get the, the very basic of a song. Second, you're doing one note at a time with a string that's comfortable and easy to press down, and you're playing rhythm on it as well, and you can learn notes. So there was a lot of reasons, and he said, whether you're going to be a guitar player or a bass player, it's a great starting instrument, but more than that, it's a truly functioning bass that sounds and plays great. They do sound good. The low tension, it was kind of a little off-putting at first, because I use huge strings primarily, right. but if you learn how to control your left hand, your right hand, that instrument sounds well, listen really to the good. volume with all this noise around us. It's still, yeah. But almost like you play lead bass now, and, and what I, I know will happen in the store, it'll bring a lot of guitar players into playing bass. That's you know, the idea. It, it's, it, you know, not, not your standard Fender bass, not your standard acoustic bass, but it's almost like a hybrid. It really is. Guitar and bass. It's definitely its own thing, so yeah. it's very cool. This is the GS Mini Bass. So here what I'm holding is our 814, it's our 800 series deluxe guitars. And 
the last two guitars we talked about, we've included everybody from bass players to beginners to anybody that just wants a nice playing guitar without all the frills. But this is really going back to our established customer base, which is a lot of the Tobias Music customer base for sure. And we decided to make a guitar based on our most popular series, our 800 series, but we wanted to add a little bit to it. We have our 900 series, which has a lot of bling and is a little more ornate, but there are some comfort and tone and playability issues with the 914 that we wanted, or the 9 series that we wanted to add to our 8 series. Kind of coming a little bit lower price point than a 9 series without all the bling, but all the benefits of, say, this right here. We have an armrest on this. This is called a radius armrest that Andy Powers came up with recently. And it's just beautiful rosewood, really comfortable, takes the edge off here. It's, it's not only beautiful and comfortable, but as you guys know, it's also functional in that it keeps your arm off the top of the guitar. And we explain a lot in our store, even a guitar that might not have an armrest, how important it is to keep your arm from resting on your soundboard. You're muffling the guitar, so another great idea. Yeah, it really does. So right out of the gate, when, it play, when, you, when you play better on a guitar that's comfortable, it's just a true thing, you're gonna sound better. So you couple that sound better with not muffling that out, but also we added Adirondack, Adirondack spruce bracing. So now we have an extra gear. So when you really dig into this guitar, there's even more power. So you've got the armrest, you've got the Adirondack. And we also, of course, threw on our Godo 510 tuners, which we love these. These are a 21 to one gear ratio. Our normal tailors are an 18 to one gear ratio, which is more than sufficient. These are just a little more precise. It's ultra precision, keeps the guitar in tune really well. They feel nice. So you get a guitar that stays in tune really well. It's got more power with the Adirondack Spruce. You've got the comfort of the armrest, and it's really just an 800 kind of on steroids, so to speak, so it's a really nice guitar. Yeah, from the retail standpoint, obviously 814 CE, probably your best selling guitar in the history of Taylor. Uh, you've upped the game a little bit, but at a value price. Sure, a couple bucks more, but nowhere near what you would think all these additions would add to a guitar. So that's it's right. a value. That's very well said. Yeah, it's, I think there's a lot of value in this instrument. The other thing we decided to do with this is offer it more than just the 814. We have a, an 810, which is our dread knob, but that's an 810E, there's no cutaway on that. So it's, that thing is a, just a power, it's a cannon, yeah. And then we did our 812CE 12 fret, which is our smallest body with the 12 fret, so it's very compact. But again, with the armrest, with the Adirondack, a lot of power for a little guitar. I think people are gonna love that Even the finger style player that need that extra horsepower. Yeah. Boom, there exactly. you have it. Yeah, exactly right. So that, that's kind of what's new here, you know, between our, our Academy Series, our GS Mini Bass, our 800 Series Selects. Two side notes, our 100 Series, we now have added Walnut to that as well for the Laird Woods. And we also have Cohen now on the 200 Series. So just a lot of cool things going on at Taylor. A lot of happening here at NAMM 2017. Yeah. Yeah. We've kind of included everybody in the mix, sure. right? Yeah. You know? uh, but uh, obviously we appreciate your help. Uh, you've been out to the store a number of times. And uh, again, over a 30-year relationship with Taylor Guitars, we're very proud of that at Tobias Music. Uh, if anybody has a chance to stop by the store, uh, we did add that beautiful Taylor showroom, uh, one of the boutique showrooms. So uh, with Nate uh, involved on the repair side, uh, you basically come in our store, you get the full Taylor experience. Uh, whether it's an upgrade in electronics or it, I know people get that first little ding in their brand new guitar, Nate can take care of that. Um, basically, we can offer a factory experience without the 22-hour ride to the West Coast. <laughs> right on. We really appreciate you guys Mark, coming thank out. thank you so always, much. Always, always nice hanging with you guys. Paul and Nathan from Tobias Music. Thanks to everybody.